Let's take it to West Africa, specifically Nigeria's commercial capital of Lagos. It has launched an e-ticketing initiative for commuters using its bus rapid transport system. It's part of wide efforts to streamline that country's overburdened transport infrastructure. The teeming city of about 20 million people is Africa's fastest growing. It generates 70% of its revenue internally from taxation and public services like buses. The bus rapid transit system was introduced in 2008 as one of the solutions to an ailing transportation sector and now caters for about 200,000 people daily. Over 100 buses ply different routes and a dedicated lane for the BRT buses ensures an almost traffic-free commute. The e-ticketing service allows passengers to purchase an electronic card and top it up on the go. It's a better alternative in the sense that sometimes one may be returning home late and the ticketers are not at the bus stop. You can easily board the bus. And they, uh, as, as well, one can buy bulk. That is, at the end of the month, you can decide to buy a reasonable amount that will last you for the whole period. Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, better known by its acronym LAMATA, is responsible for regulating the bus operations and says that e-ticketing and subsequent projects will reduce poverty by increasing economic efficiency and lowering transport costs. We needed to bring a system that would um, um, uh, make uh, public transport uh, interesting to them and uh, to reduce um, so many things. So number one, it's safe cost. Number two, it um, reduces people carrying money around. Number three, it allows we regulators to uh, monitor what is happening. Then number four, the operators themselves, um, there's a lot of cost savings there. The cashless scheme costs commuters a minimum of 20 naira, just about 12.5 US cents, depending on their destination. Previously, commuters would pay upwards of 70 naira or 44 US cents. The buses are equipped with an automated collection system that electronically deducts the fare from the passengers' electronic cards. We have a transport master plan for Lagos State, um, where also um, uh, the, the cable car is there. So we are bringing in uh, a garment of uh, public transport system that will make it easier for people to travel all around Lagos, and we are integrating it with water transportation as well. So you can travel, make use of... Um, ferry and, and rail or ferry and buses, all of that together. And that is why the e-ticket is um, actually much, very much important. But despite the challenges it has recorded so far, many residents say there are still challenges that need to be addressed. The Lagos State Government is working on revamping the transportation system in line with the megacity project and the demographic explosion which it anticipates could reach a population of 14 million from the current 20 million in the next decade. Jane Kale, CCTV.